All right, guys, we're going on straight to the point. New packs came out, and there's a couple cards in it. Pink Diamond, Two Diamonds, Luca may be a guy. Amos Christmas Leader, Derek Griffin, Jeff Hornacek, and I think there's more than that. You just can't see them at the moment. Sorry, that was my PC. But we're going to take a look at the cards in the collection, and then, you know, later on, we're going to get some gameplays. If, if you guys wanted to know more videos, see the cards. I mean, I figured if I'm home at the moment, now i got to go to work till later in the day. I might as well show you the cards. All right, so the Prime Series packs are more like the Signature Series cards. Not Signature Series. How can I say? They're, they're the Signature Series cards, but they made them a collection. So basically, if you do all these, you get the Galaxy Obu. I think it's pink. No, I think it's a pink diamond Ray Allen. So you're going to, and Ray Allen has an easy jump shot, so you're going to want to get this card. So these cards are going to be dumb expensive. But they're more like the, they're basically doing all collections like the 20th anniversary collection from last year. Uh, we're not going to take a look at John Stockton yet. We're just going to go to the VIPs. The VIPs. We got the Kimbe, Luca, Christian Leitner, Daryl Griffin, and Jeff Hornacek. We're gonna go. We're gonna go from Jeff Hornacek all the way down to see whether or not he's cool enough. All right. So we have Jeff Hornacek here. We're gonna compare him. Let's find another shooting guard. Yeah, cheap. Not a cheap ruby shooting guard. Kendall Gill. We're gonna pair him to kill him. Kendall Gill. Um. So he can shoot. Well, first things first. He's 6'3", and only can play the shooting guard. But he does have catch and shoot Hall of Fame and steady shooter. You know how people don't have a lot of things. But then he does have difficult shots, clutch shooter, green machine, hot zone hunter, hot starter, ice and veins, quick draw, slippery off ball, corner specialist, tireless shooter, and volume shooter. So nothing but gold badges, but he does not have, um, uh, wait, does he have steady shooter? He does not have, he does a steady shooter in Hall of Fame. So, I mean, that's, eh. He does have quick draw, so he may be a nice little valuable card later on, well, to use right now. So he can knock down some threes if you guys are, everyone's running zone until then, it doesn't really matter if he's too small or not. Because you just need to hit an open three. But then he comes with a 94-3. No driving dunk. Really seems like it's running a run man point guard. But he really won't let me do it. 79 ball handle. Steals a 79. I don't like that. I like steals. Um, speed 70. Oh, he's slow too. Come on, Jeff, baby. No vertical. Salmon is cool. Light on quickness is cool. It's looking like Kendall Gill is still the better card. Just can't shoot as well. But his release is nice. So, I mean, I don't really know what to tell about this. This one, this one's looking at. He does have two Hall of Fame badges, but they're, they're looking like, man, he's, we're going to have to see what he looks like in game. The next card is Dale Griffith, and he is a uh, Evo card. So, you already know people's already grinding him. The, these, this, these packs came out like, a, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, and there's tons of him up. So, he's going to be easy to acquire. If you saw the video from yesterday, if you're not one on YouTube or something, just wait. You're going to find one up like in like two or three days that someone picked up and was like, nah, I don't like his release. And him back up and you're gonna have some requirements done but Dale Griffith 64 now we can we can compare him to Desmond Mason 92 offense 85 defense now the thing I like about this car is that his three-pointer is already at 85 the other two Evo cars that we got um Luttrell and uh Junior Brisbane their shot went up to 85 to 86 so if he gets a three-point boost I'm assuming it's gonna be like a 90 plus three which would be dope then he, then he still does have a 96 driving dunk ball handle was cool 86 ball control is nice. It'll get boosted by the coach, so it's a little bit higher. 82 steal. I like that also. Especially, I don't know if they made him give him steals. 79 speed will ball. Let him put him as an 80. He's looking like a he's looking like a beast. He's looking like a beast. He is 6'4", though. 6'4". That's probably why they gave him the shooting stats. He does come with two Hall of Fame badges. I'm assuming he's going to get a third one or a fourth one when he, when he gets evolved. Comes with Showtime and Fast Break Finisher. Literally meaningless badges because you they just boost his takeover. Well, that's good. It's good for gameplays. Um, Willingness finisher. Well, it does have 14 go badges. Willingness finisher, live city finisher, pogo stick, assistant finisher, contact finisher, fancy footwork, acrobat, giant slayer. That's a nice badge. Difficult shots, downhill, quick first stat, space creator, quick draw, and volume shooter. Now, these are some all he, he has tons of good badges. Tons of good badges. No shooting ones, but I'm assuming he's gonna get them once he gets evolved. Since he is he most likely he's gonna get a high three point rating. So Dale Griffith may be worth the grind. I don't know what his other what his other requirements are, but if they're easy, like games played, threes made, and uh, points scored, it's going to be an easy call to revolve. Now we have Christian Leitner. There's not a lot of power, good power forwards in the game, so this one may be valuable, okay? Not an evolution card, but it has a 94 offense and 88 defense. Right now I'm using Shannon Fry as an amethyst. The badges on Shining Fire are two Hall of Fame, Captain Shooter, and Pick and Popper, but Christian Leitner does not have any, but he does have 26 gold badges. And here they go. Brick wall, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, pick and popper, postman technician, drop stepper, put back ball, steady shooter, brick starter, live shooting finisher, pickpocket, rim protector, chase down artist, box, 
That needs to come. I, we need that with more cards. Moving Chuck, Worm, Back Down Punisher, Contact Punisher, Cross Key Score, Deep Hook, Pick and Roller, Flexible Release, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw, Flashy Passer on Silver. Oh, that's a that's a that's a nice one. Well, that was my dad telling me that he got a new truck. So it looks like I'm getting his old car. Um, but Luca, Luca Doncic is a part of this, and he's about to be dumb expensive. His gold card, no, his no, his gold card, his Sapphire card. Everyone used day one. Literally everyone used this card day one. And it's because his release was freaking butter. Buttermilk biscuit good, okay? But now Luka Doncic is 6'7". You can run him at the 2. You see his small forward shooting guard. You run him at the 2. 95 offense, 81 defense. He's not an evil card, so his defense will not increase. So this is probably a card you don't want to invest. Well, if you if you invest, use it for two weeks and sell it, okay? 86 three-pointer. I think that's up from his Sapphire from like an 81, I think. He does have a 65 driving dunk, which I don't like. I know Luka, Luka can bang a little bit. He probably need. I I would have gave Luka like a like a 78, 79, something like that. Um, block is not there. Steel is better than Larry Bird, so I like him, but he can't run the four. So mm. rebounding is somewhat there, but he's not running the four, so it does not matter. His speed, 82, 82, and 82 down the line for all the speed stats. I like that because I'm tired of these slow cars. Vertical is somewhat there. A shoe can boost that up. Um, lateral quickness, it's okay. The shoe can boost it up also to make it decent. Then he comes with a couple Hall of Fame badges. Not a couple, just one. Difficult shot, so you can hit those leaners. But now he has 32 gold, which is kind of brazy. That's kind of brazy, that 32 gold. He has corner specialist, catch and shoot, acrobat, teardropper, linus finisher, flashy passer, volume shooter, break starter, lap city finisher. But yeah, Luka Doncic has 32 badges, gold ones at that. Um, you guys see them here. You guys see them here. Fancy footwork's a nice badge. Salute finish a nice badge. Pass fake Mike Show. I like doing that just because it fakes out the passes in the um in the zone. Her first step is a viable badge. So a space creator. Dead eye is a nice one. Green machine. Pump fake maestro. Quick draw. Salute finisher. I don't know if his sapphire card has uh quick draw, but if it didn't, y'all finna his release might be completely different. He might not. He like he might be unusable since everyone was used to the slow one. Well, we'll, we'll figure out. Luka Doncic is a nice little card. He's a nice little card. Is he supposed, is he supposed to be more than 100K? Probably not. He should probably be like 80, 80, 70K, but he's 100K right now. And the last card in the VIP, in the Prime VIP collection, is the Dikembe Mutombo Diamond. I'm going to need to get me this card no matter what the stats is because I need someone to replace George Marisson. Okay? 7 foot 2, 90 offense, 95 defense. Look, post fade, not there. Driving layup, not there. But that post hook is there. That's gonna play in a George Mercon. That post hook is there to 92. Post moves 85. You feel me? Mid range shot not there. Close shot is there. 97 standing up. 85 driving up. Um, block is a 96. Definitely need that. Rebounding 95, 94. Definitely need that. Speed 74. Give him a shoot. Get it up to uh, 70, 78. And then the coach will boost it up in the 80s. He's looking very athletic with a 90 vertical. Strength is there. Stamina is there. Level quickness is there. Oh, he's looking like a defensive giant. Then he comes with four Hall of Fame badges. Tyler's defender, post move, lockdown. That drop step is no more. Chase down artist and rim protector. I wish he had Intimidator on Hall of Fame. Instead of um, Intel of, uh, Tyler's defender, Tyler's defender on gold would have been okay. Uh, but does he have defensive leader? He does. Does he have Intimidator on gold? He does. All right, so those are the two important badges for this card. I know he needs. Brick Raw and Worm are nice, too. This card, right now, in the meta of this game, where big men are a bucket, no matter if they can shoot or not shoot, this card is worth 100 k and you need to pick him up. Now we're on to the main card of the set. John Stockton going for a good grip. He probably got like 500 k for the first pre of the year. The first one of the year. But he's 6'1". You guys see him 99 offense, 97 defense. He's looking real nice. Real nice. I don't know what his release is, but I hope if it's like if it's still as greenable as last year, then he's going to be a bucket. 95 driving layup, 92 mid-range, 95 three-point shot. No driving dunk whatsoever. Don't Even though the pink diamond, the guy still could dunk last year, this one's not dunking whatsoever. Um, ball handles a 93. Still 99. That's about to be OP because steals are still OP in this year's game. Especially with everyone having low ball control right now. 95 speed, 95 speed with ball, 95 acceleration. Picking which one of those is going to boost to 99 and go fly out the window. 97 lateral quickness. Stamina is there with a 98. 
Strength is not too bad with a 69 also. And then all his passing stuff is high. It's dumb high. But we're here for the badges. These are what makes the most sense. This is what we're looking for. Nine Hall of Fame badges compared to Jason Williams, six. Floor, floor General, Patrick Maestro, Needle Threader, Giant Slayer, Interceptor, Clamps, Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, and Dimer. The most important badge that I just named. Dimer, Pick Dodger, Clamps, and Interceptor. People run zone, got to pick those passes off. Gotta guard somebody up in that pick and roll situation in the fast break when they don't run zone because they'll quickly guard somebody. Kick Dodger is the most important and diamond for offense. Those are the most important badges. Everything else is cool. Floor General will boost your teammate's stats and give you the percentages. Something I mean, that's cool, but I'm not looking for none of that. But then he comes with 26 gold badges right here. You guys can see them. I'm gonna say the most important ones and some of the fun ones. Anger Breaker is fun. Off ball pass is really important. Uh. Bailout is important because sometimes you do mess up. Whereas catch and shoot is important. Crazy first step is important. Space security is important. Stop and go is important. Unpluggable is important. Sexual release is important. So I'm assuming his release is going to be a little bit hard if they gave that to him. Green machine is important. Hot zone hunter, quick draw, range of standards. Not steady shooter. God dang. They, didn't need, they did not need to give him that. But John Stockton is a, is a cool bucket. He's a real, real bucket. He was a real bucket. Um, now, is he? do I suggest he's worth 100 k in the year, well, 300k in the year of position locks, uh, nah, 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 nah. Just because, mm, I feel like I'm gonna still clamp him up. I'm gonna still. It don't really matter who I got a PG. I'm gonna still clamp him up just because you know his release might be slow. It might be weird at time and everything. But if you like him, get him. You can now use point guards. I suggest he's like 100, 150k, 200k, not 300k. The actual 100k is out the window. Just wait till like near the end when he's like 200, 150k and scoop. Him. But, all right, man. That's the end of the video. Whatever card you think is going to be worth it, let me know down in the comments. It's been fun.